guys, Kev here, and I have something different for you. Bear with me on this one. So this is from a company called Axle Glade, and this is called the Mini Spade. And what this is, is a product to clean your ears. It's basically a powered Q-tip that has a camera and a little... Um, pick that you can pull stuff out of your ear okay and <clears throat> let me tell you how this started so over the winter um i get really running i get bad sinuses right and uh, i quit drinking a few months ago and i think i just was like realizing that i have like bad allergies i didn't notice <laughs> so i know it's dumb but um so i felt like my ears were like popping a lot and like i don't know just hard to explain and um, I clean my ears every time I take a shower. I take a Q-tip and I, you know, I spin it kind of like in my ear. And then I flip it around, do the same thing in the other ear. And I was on Instagram and I saw this product, right? And I was pretty intrigued with it. And I was like, maybe this will be nice. Like, I'll find out if I have a bunch of buildup in my ear. I've always heard people say, like, my hearing wasn't that great. Like... And I thought maybe there's a bunch of wax in my ear or something. I don't know. I remember one time I went to the doctor's office. I hadn't been to the doctor in like 10 years. And I went for a physical. And she took something and was trying to clean my ear out. And it hurt like hell. Um, anyway, I saw this on Instagram. And I was pretty intrigued. But it was like $100 for this camera with this thing, right? Now, they do have this one. This is the Mini, and this one's 50 bucks, right? So that was a little easier to swallow. Just to try something, I wasn't going to spend 100 bucks, you know what I mean? Unless it's a knife um, or something EDC-related, right? But I thought maybe this would be good. Like, we have a kid, right? We have a two-year-old, basically. Well, she's 21 months, I think. Um, so, you know, as she grows up, maybe we need to inspect her ear or her nose. This can be used for like anything, right? If you can fit this thing in it, you have a camera. Um, you could use it for like, I don't know, other stuff. Um, don't let your mind go there, guys. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Just don't let your mind go there. Um, but yeah, so I thought it was interesting. I wanted to try it. And after like, I don't know, the 10th time I saw the ad on Instagram, I finally was like, all right, I'm gonna give this a shot. And I just ordered one. Um, this is the Spade Mini from Axle Glade. I did try this just a minute ago, so I don't have a ton of use with it or anything. This isn't a full review. This is kind of an initial impression and whatever, and you guys could take it however you want. I don't normally review this kind of stuff, but you know what? It seemed interesting, and I actually have something similar on the way, and I might show that too, but that one's not like a camera or anything. It's basically like a plastic Q-tip that has like, think of like a drill, right? Or like a cork sort of thing. Like, um, you know what I'm talking about. You ever seen Armageddon? You know what they use to drill into that comet's freaking uh, uh, surface? Think that, but going in your ear, right? It's just this thing you kind of spin in your ear and it catches all your wax as it goes in. And then you just kind of like twirl it out or whatever. I don't know. I have that on the way. That's called the Tvidler, T-B-I-D-L-E-R, I think. And that's like 16 or 20 bucks for one of them. And that's not like a camera or anything. So it's a low-tech way to kind of clean your ear out. I saw that after I bought this. So I was like, mm, might as well try that too. So I ordered that. I can't tell you which one I like better, you know. Um, so anyway, it came with these picks. I think I might have purchased these separately for like 10 bucks. You know how they always throw ad add-ons on. Um, they try to sell you extra shit. You can just clean these. So like, you don't need to buy extra ones, but it's kind of cool. I think there's different sizes. There's like a larger one and a smaller one. Um, then basically it comes with your instructions. Download the app. There's the, uh... QR code for that. You can pause and read this if you like. Tells you how to do it. Product size, it says. Um, and then here's the back warranty card and such warnings and shit. Um, of course, this is all at your own risk. Don't blame me. So anyway, you get one extra ear pick with it. That's the one that was on it. I swapped them. This is a smaller one. Basically, these things screw on. 
like that. You obviously would want to be very careful when you do this. Uh, you wouldn't want one of these to kind of fall off in your ear. So I would pay attention when you screw it on. It has plenty of threads. I don't think it's just going to pop off, uh, especially if you're being careful, which you should be, right? So here's the thing. It's just, you know, a thing. Uh, it's got a little grip. I'm guessing you can go that far into your ear without hurting yourself. I That seems like a long way to go in your ear, but maybe they did research. There is nothing in this instruction manual that says anything. At least I read a lot of it. doesn't say anything about warning. Don't shove it all the way in. Like, it doesn't say that anywhere. So I'm assuming they think it's safe to put that all the way in your ear. I don't know. I will tell you it hurt by the time it got to like here. So I don't know how far you're going to go. Um, so what you do is you power the BS on like that. It has a light on it, which is cool. And then you go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone after you get the app, Android, iOS, and you just connect to it. it it's a Wi-Fi, right? It says Spade 8592 or whatever. Connect to that. And then you go back to the app and hit go. Boom. It connects automatically. You have a big circle on the, on the screen and it's a camera and you shove this thing in your ear and right down in there is a camera where that light is coming from. So if I turn it off, you'll see that's a camera right there in there. It comes with like, ironically, it comes with a double-sided Q-tip that has alcohol on it. So you can clean this. Now it only comes with one of those, which is kind of weird, but um, I guess you could use a Q-tip and get alcohol on it. You could just use what I would probably use is one of those KPL sticks. Um, I'd probably just use one of these guys and put alcohol on it and just rub it across the lens. Now, uh, the difference between the mini, oh, the mini and the normal one that's a hundred bucks is the camera I think is more powerful or something. This is like four megapixels. It worked great, guys. I, I don't think you need the fancy one. I don't really think you need this product, but <clears throat> you know how it is. Um, I don't know if you could pick colors or whatever. We got this teal one. I bought this. Um, this wasn't like sent to me or anything. You could charge it right here by micro USB. Um, and you just stick it in your ear. And I guess this cute, this thing on the end is kind of hard, but soft silicone. And you can kind of like scoop shit out of your ear. And what I found in my ear was I have a lot of ear hairs. <laughs> It was kind of it was kind of weird. It was eye opening. I'm old. Um, and then I just had some loose like crumbs, so to speak, in there that I just they kind of just came out with it. They stuck to it. They look huge in the camera, but like they're specks like on this thing. And this thing is tiny, guys. So and then the further I went in, I could kind of see something going on further in. But I if I went any further, I was really hurting and I just didn't want to go further in. So they make it sound like this is painless and maybe I'm just sensitive to ear stuff, but I've had it happen. Like I said, at the doctor's office where it hurt really bad. So like, I just, I don't know. I think I could have gone further and got whatever it was in there. I couldn't really see because it was blocked by like hairs and like, you know, your ear isn't just a straight hole. Like you have like peaks and valleys sort of, and there's like skin and shit in there so like i couldn't just see straight through i would have had to shove this further in and it just was hurting and i i, I didn't see anything alarming or anything so i just kind of pulled it out uh, and then i did the other side same thing so i didn't see anything like gross in there or, like some huge buildup or whatever um maybe i'm not using it right but anyway i just wanted to point this out and let you guys know i tried it i think it's cool for the fact that like i'm thinking for my kid like, we could look up her nose, we can look in her ear, um, other places if you needed to. Um, you could use it for, like, anything, you know what I mean? Anything you need to kind of get a camera into. I mean, you could literally take this thing off and then just have this kind of camera on the end of a stick. Um, which I think is pretty cool, so uh, I don't know. Um, you could probably use it to look inside, like, your engine block or something, I don't know. Um, but anyway, it seemed like a cool thing to try out. So I did, we have it, it was 50 bucks. Um, I don't think that's a crazy amount of money for a camera on a stick with an app and these Q-tip things. Like I do think it's more gimmicky than anything. The commercial tries to like scare you kind of into thinking you have hearing loss and like, you know, shit like that. Of course I'm susceptible to that bullshit just like anybody. Um, and I'm always like, 
you know, could I have this? Could I have that? Like, I'm not a hypochondriac, but like, I definitely worry more now than I used to, you know? So anyway, I just want to show that off to you guys. I might show you the other one when it comes in the Tvidler and let you know if one of them works better, if twisting that thing in my ear somehow. I feel like that makes more sense to me, the thing that you twist into your ear because it's going to like go along the sides, probably grab stuff. Whereas seeing in there is great, but you just have this little pick to kind of like, you know, you have to get on this side of your ear, that side of your ear, try to grab stuff out. Like, just seems kind of tough unless you had a big ball in there that you could just kind of pull right out, which that's just what they're going to show you in the commercial. It's probably not real, you know. I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, but hey, if Axel Glade wants to send me the full, you know, the, the pro version or, you know, explain to me exactly what I should be doing. Is it safe to shove this thing all the way in your ear? It just seems really long for that. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you tuned out already. Um, but I think it's an interesting product. I think overall the camera on the stick thing is cool. I do. I think that's a cool, unique product. I think it could be useful in situations, but I'm not a real techie guy. So there could be a million things like this out there that I don't know about. There could be a $5 one you could get at Walmart. Like, I don't know. So you guys tell me, uh, let me know. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.